Hey, welcome back to Big Board. You know, I was looking at uh, the rules for flat top and thinking about my uh, <clears throat> experiences with the Coral Sea, uh, the campaign commander, and reflecting on the fact that uh, I, you know I was just stuck with that game and had not really had an opportunity to because I was stuck on that game, move my whole desire to play chronologically through World War II forward. And I was uh, chatting with someone online about CV and Avalon Hill games and things like that, and then I thought, oh, you know, I've got that flat top game. I, I thought, hmm, flat top, hang on, wait, that's World War II, duh. And uh, isn't that uh, the Coral Sea and Guadalcanal and Solomon Islands and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, you know it is. And so, you know what? I thought I should finally rip the shrink on this thing and use uh, Flat Top as our uh, opportunity to move our exploration of World War II forward through our board gaming experiences that we're doing here or that I'm doing here uh, on the big board. So, uh, with that in mind, I had a quick look on BGG, and I don't think there's a, there's a, uh, a shrink rip for flat top. And although this is the battle line version of the game from Avalon Hill, it's the Avalon Hill title that's been re reprinted by Battle Line. I thought, hey, let's uh, let's open it up. And I, I've seen pictures of the game and all that sort of stuff, and it looks you know kind of cool and everything. But I've never really done. I've never, I've never seen it. So let's rip it open and have a look and uh, enjoy the. The goodness of a brand new game, right? Uh, even though it's decades old. And in fact, I actually picked this up really inexpensively. I got this for $10 a long time ago. And I think uh, several years ago, you know, three or four years ago. And even here from the store, it was a uh, vintage game, no return or exchange, $29.99. All right. Here we go. I don't think it's going to have that new game smell. What do you think? Mm, it smells like a musty old game, actually. Let me have a little sniff. Oh, it smells pretty good. Damn, dog. Look at that. Okay, so these are the rules. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, lengthen the legs uh, of the tripod, little mini tripod here, so we can get a better shot. See the rules are laid out a little bit differently than the Avalon Hill ones that I have a scan of. This might be worth making a scan of. In fact, they're longer. Oh, that's bothersome. I wonder why that is. <clears throat> All right. Well, this is going to have to take a quick. I'm going to have to have a quick look at this at some point to uh, understand what the different, the primary differences are between the game. I'm sure it's probably got some clarifications and things in it. All right. Uh, this is interesting. This is aged where the rules. If you can see that where the rules were sitting inside the inside the box. Isn't that funny? Now, the plot maps that we use. Ah, these are big, heavy, mounted maps. See, I didn't know that. All right, well, that changes my plan for playing on a uh, playing on a magnet board. These are nice, heavy stock mounted. Look at that. Mounted maps. That's one map. And here's a second map. And I'm not going to embarrass myself with my inability to know my terrain, but I think this goes here, basically. We have this in case I have a question I want to fill out. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go, o Allied Operations Charts. Oh wow, okay, Japanese Ops Chart. I've got all these printed out in different format, but they'll work. And here, the creme de la creme, the piece de resistance. I'm going to be gentle with this because I don't want any to fall out. 
because they do intend on scanning all this first. There's the first counter sheet with all the tasks, task force air formation counters, all the zeros. And they're actually some of them are actually kind of faded. You can't even read them. Uh, I guess it's just a poor print job, but at least they're uh, they're all centered, which is nice. Another map, another chunk of ocean. And ooh, fourth map. Here are the Allied forces in green, of course. The B-17 bombers and the destroyers, the subs, the P-40s, the Beauforts, 38s. Formation markers. Oh, I like those formation markers. They're nicer than the CV ones. Clouds. Uh, and then we've got. Uh, you can disperse your aircraft in this game, which I think is different from CV. You can't do that. And there's Dauntlesses up there as well, and Wildcats. I've been reading a cool book. Eagle Against the Sun, uh, about the. Pacific War, so I might share a little bit of that uh, as it pertains to these scenarios that we'll play. All right, so there's the counters. They all look sensational. And then we've got all of the charts and tables that we need. I've got all this stuff already printed out, all in color and uh, manageable sized bits and pieces. And in fact, there seems to be, uh, now what's missing here? Oh, here it is, there's the hit tables for all the different aircraft types. I've got all this consolidated for the whole shooting match. Okay, this is going to be awesome. So look, that's a shrink rip right there. It was pretty quick, actually. Probably one of my shorter ones. Look at those counters. I'm going to go scan these bad boys right now. And we will... Uh, Talk to you guys soon. There's a little uh, little love for flat top from Battle Line from back in the day. That is, this is way back. Let's see when exactly this was printed or reprinted. Does it have it here? Probably doesn't. I'm too afraid to move anything else before I, because I break it. Pop something out. I can't find when it was. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, early 80s or maybe late 70s, I don't know. You've got your plot charts here on the back, you've got the aircraft chart movement stuff that you've got to do. All that. <clears throat> Alright, later.